Ornamentation is one of the most important techniques in classical Persian music, especially for improvisation. One simple melody can be interpreted in several different ways by a musician. These different interpretations are how musicians show their artistry and their mastery. Today, I want to go over one simple melody using three different ornamental patterns. First, the tekie, or the hammered upper ornament, the eshare, the upper grace note, and lastly, a combination of the two. So here is a short excerpt from Musa Marofi's Pishtaromat in Dashti. So let's focus on the ending of this in a simple form. Now I'm going to add the tekie or hammered upper note in order to play this in a different way. Pay attention to how the third finger striking the tekie is going to be played with much more force. Notice how we play all the 16th notes in one bow when we want to use the tekie in this form. And also notice how the third finger is hammered, striking with force. Next, I will play the eshare, or the upper grace note ornament, which is played softer with the third finger. One of the important things to pay attention to when playing the eshara is that not only is it softer, but it's represented by a smaller note and played at the very end of the bow. <laughs> Lastly, I will play an ornamental pattern that combines the tekie and the eshara. Notice when I play how when the tekie is played, it hammers down and then it is distinguished by the eshara playing down softly. As we play different pieces together, we're going to experience different kind of ornamental patterns and go over exercises that will help develop the technique in our left hand to execute them precisely. Over time, we will learn enough ornamental figures that we can apply them spontaneously to pieces we play, making them our own.